the yard and here's dad again he's back from his trip hello so I've, I've set dad up with the whole line of bull snot that I got here we got the detail cleaner and polish we got the odor eliminator we got the tire butter and the glass cleaner I, I got all four of them. I got Dad's set up. He's going to try it out in his truck and... Uh, I'm going to film some of this stuff and then I'll show you the results, you know? Yeah. I've seen the results and he showed it, you know? I mean, this stuff is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, I'll get this to work and then uh, I'll show it to other people here too. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. thunderstorm last night but it wasn't anything to brag about or anything I was hoping for a big electric storm with big thunder bangs and lots of lightning I was sadly disappointed by the weatherman it got me all excited it didn't come through Everybody, another day is here. We're in Toulon, and I can't get on the road. Too much traffic. Is it rush hour in Toulon? All 80 residents are all driving around at the same time. That person's turning didn't have their turn signal on. I could have gone. That would have been nice. Now, by the time this guy passes, oh well, you get it. It's another day. So I picked up uh, in the step deck roll tight behind me in Arburg this morning again. And we're making our way back. There we go, okay. I'm going for it. I'm just gonna send it. stop at my favorite co-op there it was raining pretty good when I pulled in there but for some reason as soon as I pulled the brakes stopped raining weird right got something rattling over here it's driving me nuts You guys have that in your truck too? There's always a rattle somewhere and you finally fix it. You finally find out where it's coming from. And then a new one starts rattling every time. You hear that? with me today. You guys have been up there quite a bit lately. Look at all the trees. I love this time of year. I've said it before, when everything starts turning green and there's so much promise and excitement for the summer to come and the fall. So you got spring, summer, and fall to look forward to. And fall time is my least favorite one, obviously, because you have winter around the corner, but let's not talk about that. Look at this, all the trees are finally, finally budding here. Is it green already where you live? I know springtime, we have friends in uh, Moles and Colleen, they're in Virginia. And their trees turned green like two months ago already. <laughs> Ours are finally, finally getting there. Farmers have mostly finished seeding from what I've seen. 
and we're going to get about a week's worth of rain right now, which is absolutely excellent for them. It held off just long enough for them to get the seeds in the ground, and now this water will really help their crops grow. A lot of farmers in our, in our region. From here to the Rocky Mountains out west, it's the prairies of Canada. So right now I'm in Manitoba. If you guys are new to the vlog, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button, guys, because that does help me a lot on my videos. I really do appreciate that. It's free. That's the best way to support me. So we've been doing this for about, uh, not quite 10 years, but you know, we're getting there. Since 2011. Been all over the continent, US and Canada, and right now we're focusing in Manitoba. This is my home province. We've explored the whole continent, Canada and the US. So now it's time to explore around home a little bit. My wife and I are trying to uh, start a family. And with everything going on right now, it just worked out that uh, I found myself in this position. I'm really happy with what I'm doing right now. I really like it. The only thing I would really love to happen, I'm just gonna say it, all right? I'd really love to get this truck refurbished and show ready, like ready for a truck show, like completely redone. I'd love that. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. <laughs> But for now, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. I'm just happy to be uh, driving trucks every day and being able to get home every night. You know, it's something that I didn't get for nine years. For nine years of my life, I was over the road long haul. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like, oh, I've been driving my whole life. I know that there's a lot of you watching right now that have been over the road for a lot longer than nine years, okay? So I'm not a super trucker or nothing like that. I, I, I get it. It's not the longest time, but nine years is a long time. I, I feel like I, uh, I got a really good taste of it. I loved it. I miss it. But my desire to be at home every night is greater than my, my feelings that I miss being over the road. So we'll see. I might take a trip here and there. I wouldn't mind taking a trip down to Georgia now and then. Or maybe out, I'd love to go to the states that I haven't been to yet because we have freight going down there now. Uh, freight going down to California, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, uh, uh, all those states in the southwest, Texas, down south. They need me do. They need me here pulling these city roads right now. But if it ever gets slow and you know they get do without me in the yard for a while, I'd, I'd definitely let them know that. I wouldn't mind taking a trip down to those states to see the places I haven't seen yet. Or haven't seen in a long time. And we're catching up to slow Sunday drivers. It's Thursday! They got their days mixed up. Hello! Oh well. I guess we're going slow. Give them a little bit of breathing space here. I wasn't expecting on uh, catching up to them so quickly. Slow down a little bit. We're doing like 85, 90, in 100 zone. We're talking kilometers an hour, because remember, I'm in Canada. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Look at him go. We'll see. I'm, I love, but anyway, what I was saying is that I'm happy doing what I'm doing now, and it's working out great. So tonight, Brit is working into the evening. I'm gonna get back at the yard sometime around 2.30. I'm not sure if they'll have more for me or not, but uh, I'll be home long before she gets home. So I guess I'll have to uh, take care of myself and good, things I got, good thing I got the dogs there to supervise me so I won't be you know, getting into any trouble or anything. This is Highway 7, north of Winnipeg. Oh, buddy, you're slowing down again. At least maintain your speed. I don't go. I don't care if you want to go a little slower, but put, set your cruise control, for crying out loud. Now he's just gonna fluctuate in speed. Don't you love that? 
turns to four lane soon anyway. I hope you guys are all doing well. Figured I'd just sit here and chat with you guys for a little while today going down the road to sort of show you what my home, home province is like in this section. Manitoba is a big province. Yesterday morning in the northern part of our province in a town called Churchill, they had a blizzard, a snowstorm. They have like a couple feet of snow up there yet. I'm a southerner. I live in southern Manitoba. That's where we are now. Everything is turning green here right now. You go further south, you end up in the United States of America. And down there, they've been enjoying practically summertime already for about a month. All right. Well, that was fun. Now we're hooked up to a box here. I'm gonna quickly do a walk around here. You're probably gonna get rain on your lens, so apologies. We're in a little bit of a rush here. We gotta make sure we're good to go. Lights work. Oh, what are you doing hanging out of there? See, that's why you check it. That light was hanging down. It's clipped in now. Please tell me you're clean. Please tell me. Tell me you're clean. <sighs> Not that clean. It's gonna need a sweep out, but I've gotta get a little ways down the road. We'll do it there. are all working. Forgot to kick the tires on that side, didn't I? Just making sure they are inflated with air. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a wonderful day when all your tires are filled with air. Man, there's traffic in Winnipeg today. What's going on? It's Thursday, right? It's not Friday? I mean, it's a long weekend coming up, so I'd expect this tomorrow. Today? We, we were at an intersection and there were some cars trying to merge into the right lane there, right? And I moved over to the left lane because there was a hole here to let them in. And now I can't get back into that lane. But I'm in a dilemma because up ahead, I'm turning left. So if I turn into, if I get back in that lane now, about half a mile or a mile up ahead, I gotta get back in this lane to turn left. So I think I might just stay in this lane. Part of the left lane gang. How about that? Because I know as soon as I go back in that lane and I need to get back in this one, no one's going to let me in. So I'm just going to stay here. This is Lajermodier. It goes all the way through the city. It's Highway 59. Uh, this highway, if you go south, uh, it'll take you all the way to the U.S. border uh, at, uh, what's that town called again? Lancaster, Minnesota, right? And 59 North will take you all the way up to uh, cottage country up there. this trailer into the city quickly because the, the customer has been waiting for this van. They need to fill it with stuff probably going to like California or you know those states I was talking about before that I'd really like to go to. It's one of our regulars and it's a little bit of a maze to get there. Well winter's over so construction season is here and this is our turn where we got to turn left. We're turning left down Nairn Avenue. For those of you who are uh, familiar with Winnipeg, I'm so sorry. Sorry to hear that. I'm gonna turn right down here. For the rest of you, you don't care where Nairn Avenue is, do you? Nairn Avenue ends at this road here, and then it turns into Regent Avenue going that way towards Transcona, the east side of the city which is the closest side of the city to Steinbach. So I'm very familiar with the east side of Winnipeg and the south side of Winnipeg. The south all the way around to the east. That's that's my Winnipeg. Anything in the northwest, like north of the Assiniboine River and west of the Red River, it's like a, a almost like a, a foreign city to me. I don't know it that well. Well, I should say, ah, I should've gone, should've gone, didn't go. Didn't go, he went. Whatever, I'm bigger, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna set a good example. You stop for red lights. I'm a little over the stop line now, shoot. I'm not 
backing up. I don't know how close the guy behind me is. We're good. We're good. We'll be fine. What was I talking about? Yeah, anywhere uh, in the northwest corner of the city there. Uh, that's where my wife grew up, actually, in that area of the city. Don't get me wrong, I know the main routes going through there. I know the truck routes. Because uh, I've delivered throughout the city pretty much my whole like, working life. But growing up, I didn't know anybody there, really, personally, until I got older. And then I met my wife, who grew up there. She grew up in the Maples. Up in the northwest corner. And then I stole her out of the city. Brought her on out to Steinbeck. Why does everyone look at me so funny when I have a camera on my head? Has anyone, no, no one's ever seen a guy with a camera on his head talking to himself? This is 2021. Come on. Hey look, Brown's Plumbing and Heating. Ha <laughs> ha. They did our air conditioner. They did a good job. Very good service, very happy with it. They service Winnipeg now too, that's right. I saw them advertising that on their uh, Instagram page a little while ago. Good for them, good for them. With good service like that, I'm, I'm happy to see them uh, succeed. Always happy to see people succeed. People who deserve it should succeed. So we found ourselves on Watt Avenue, uh, Watt Street, I mean, for those who care. For the rest of you, well, now you know. And this is how I get over to Raleigh Street. Except in Winnipeg, it's pronounced Raleigh. Raleigh Street. It's spelt just like Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I've got Raleigh. So I turn uh, right onto Chalmers Street here. Chalmers Avenue. All right, it's a little bit of a tight corner. It's the tightest corner on the way here. You gotta watch your trailer with these poles here. Gotta take it wide. Watch for traffic coming from there. Don't want to get in the way of the bus. Everyone loves the bus. Okay, now is our turn. So we're gonna take it nice and wide without going into the lane beside me because that lane's going straight through. As wide as we can, we're going to watch in the convex mirror there where our trailer tires are going. And this truck has a back window, I can just take a peek back there to make sure it is where it's supposed to be. And look at that. Didn't even kiss the curb. That's a pass in my books. And then you come into a school zone here. Remember school zones are 30 kilometers an hour. Or uh, what is that, 20 miles an hour? They often have uh, cops here watching you. Watch out for the crossing pedestrians. It is one of our goals every day to not hit any pedestrians. Watch your kids there, buddy. <laughs> Little girl wanted to run back across again. So much fun crossing the street, she wanted to do it again. Take her easy through the school zones. Even if you don't see any kids around. Okay, it's just it's a good habit to get into. One day I'm gonna have kids of my own and I'm going to really appreciate everyone who respects the school zones. Take her easy, that's people's kids. No one likes it when you mess with kids. I gotta turn down this street. This is Raleigh Street. Apparently I'm gonna have to wait. Take it real wide again. There we go. It's a little tight getting in here, but this is the best route that I found getting onto this or into this neighborhood here. things loaded in 
one door here, and then I've got to go to a different door of the same building, but a different door, and drop the trailer there and leave it. And just go away. Let them do their thing. They got us locked in. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. What if there was an emergency? Nope. They got me locked in. <clears throat> a lot of these docks that we back into, everywhere, not just here, but everywhere, what they'll do to make sure you don't drive away with the forklift in the trailer is they have a little hook on a hydraulic or a machine or something that after you back into the door, it lifts up and hooks onto your bumper on your trailer. So if you try to drive away, it's literally holding you in the door. And you can't leave until they release it and give you the green light and the A-OK -okay to leave. So I'm at their mercy. They could keep me here all night if they wanted to. They could keep me here forever. I guess I could just unhook the trailer and leave. That's one way of doing it. But this trailer ain't leaving until they say it's leaving. <laughs> They'll give me the green light. I'm looking at my mirror here. There's a red light and a green light. The red light's flashing right now. As soon as the green light starts to flash, I go get my paperwork, and then I gotta bring this trailer just around the corner, drop it in another one of their doors, and then, uh, yeah, and then I guess I just bobtail back. Just got back to the yard, and here's Dad again. He's back from his trip. Apparently he had an accident with his phone, but he wanted to get a new one anyway, so. <laughs> He's about to bring it over here and show me what the screen looks like. I was just telling him your phone got all messed up. Yeah, I mean, this, this part of the screen doesn't look too bad. Okay. It's, it's got all stripey, but let's say if I go to YouTube. Oh, YouTube's not working right? Oh, I see, it's sort of like, Oh no, that one, that part is not too. Some of the channels, oh, was just absolutely terrible. I, uh, Did you drop it? Yeah, I dropped it. Oh, okay. I've dropped it many times already. <laughs> <laughs> this time it got this corner, see yeah. this blotch there. Oh, okay. And it's got uh, whatever that liquid is, it starts seeping in there. It, it actually went up to here and then came back. So now, and slowly it just keeps getting worse and worse until I. Can't really read anything. Oh. Yeah, you got a new one. Wanted to get rid of that one anyway. Yeah, I okay. trying to phone this. Yeah, the Huawei. Huawei. The yeah. Huawei. 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 Why we? Like, well, why do you send it to we? You know? <laughs> why do we have to do with this? <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's done history now. I was able to call, but uh, let's say uh, if I want to. Uh, something oh, oh your keyboard doesn't work doesn't always oh, okay it's not getting stripey and stripey and stripey until it gets oh. so bad that you can just barely see uh, these numbers yeah these oh there's apps there there's apps there yeah oh so these it starts off good and then it gets bad yeah it starts clear and then it gets bad these stripes you just get bigger and bigger as i leave it on and oh, okay. i got a 
turn it off and turn it back on and then it's... And then it works good again. For a few seconds. For a few yeah, seconds then it starts. Yeah. Well you got a new, you get the Samsung? Yep. Oh, and then okay. something latest, 21 plus. Sounds like 21 plus. Yeah, 21 plus. Oh, okay, this is, uh, this is mine, that's the 20. That's the 20 plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just have the magnet on the back of my phone there. Oh yeah, like I, that's what I want to get. Yeah, and then uh, you just turn on there and it's stuck. So I've I've set that up with the whole line of bull snot that I got here. We got the detail cleaner and polish. We got the odor eliminator. We got the tire butter and the glass cleaner. I uh, I got all four of them. I got Dad set up. He's gonna try it out in his truck and uh, I'm gonna film some of this stuff and then. I'll show you the results, you know? Yeah. I've seen the results and he showed it, you know? I mean, this stuff is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, I'll get this to work and then uh, I'll show it to other people here too. So he's all set up. I also want to set up some of you guys. We're going to be doing giveaways with some of this stuff coming up soon, so watch out for that. That's coming soon. We'll see how they work for you. Well, it wasn't that long ago. I was way down south through Georgia. Mm hmm One of those good states we love to go to yeah we're always there yeah, steady <laughs> and that's All where right. the headquarters of bull snot is in georgia oh yeah i'll make that bull to work you know it'll, it'll work <laughs> in my favor i'll tell you <laughs> off we go i do realize that dad's truck probably needs a little bit more than bull snot to uh come back to its former glory but there's a story behind that and it's not his fault uh, Several years ago, he got the truck repainted. He got those red fenders painted that used to all be white. And he got the fenders painted red and the visor painted red. It looked amazing. It looked awesome when it was freshly done. But the person who did it, I guess, kind of maybe slightly lied about the quality <laughs> because it didn't take long and it started chipping away and falling off. And, and at this point, there's been quite a bit that have fallen off on the fenders there. You may have seen it. And I feel bad because, you know, it's, it's not Dad's fault and it, the guy did a bad job. But Dad's faced with a dilemma. Last time we talked to him, you heard, you know, he's thinking about retirement now. And uh, I don't want to push him towards that at all either because I know how hard it is to park the truck. Well, well, I, I can only imagine, I should say, I don't know. But uh, park the truck, I mean, he'll probably want to drive it till he can't drive no more, right? That's, that's what I would think. He loves trucking as much as I do. Probably more than I do. He's the one that got me into it. <laughs> Been driving my whole life. Anyway, so he's faced with a dilemma. You know, either spend however many thousands of dollars into a new paint job. I think it could be like $10,000 to get the whole truck repainted. Or, you know, invest that money into retirement. Keep that money, hold on to it, and use it in retirement in a few years. So... It'd be nice to get the truck all fixed up for him, get the paint job all fixed up, because that wasn't his fault that it was a bad job. But I don't know, you guys know any good paint shops around Winnipeg? He didn't ask me to ask you or anything, but uh, love to get that fixed up for him. But anyways, he'll uh, he'll give us a good review of of the products. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey.